No, UNESCO has expressed strong regret over Japan failing to fully implement its promise regarding the dark history of forced labor at its industrial sites designated as World Heritage Sites. This follows a UNESCO inspection in Tokyo last month. Our foreign affairs correspondent Yun Jungmin reports. The UNESCO World Heritage Committee said Monday that it strongly regrets that Japan has failed to fully implement its promise to acknowledge its subjection of Koreans and others to forced labor during World War II at the Japanese industrial sites that were designated as World Heritage Sites in 2015. This was in the wording of a resolution the committee is expected to pass next week. Officials at Seoul's foreign ministry say it is quite unusual for the UN agency to use such strong language, and they say they expect this time Japan will take concrete action. The statement from the World Heritage Committee was based on a report by UNESCO and International Council on Monuments and Sites. Last month, those agencies inspected the Industrial Heritage Information Center in Tokyo, a facility Japan had promised would inform visitors that Koreans were forced to perform labor against their will in the 1940s. But the report confirmed that there was insufficient acknowledgement of that fact at the center, and there was no display of honor for the victims either. The World Heritage Committee is now asking Japan to fully take into account a series of requests, which include displaying the full history of the sites and commemorating the victims. It also recommends dialogue with relevant countries and that Japan take into account other model cases. The committee plans to adopt the resolution expressing strong regret over Japan's actions in an online session next week. Once locations are designated as World Heritage Sites, UNESCO checks every two years for updates on implementation. Japan must file another updated report to the UN agency by December 2022. Despite Tokyo failing to keep its pledges, it is unlikely that this will lead to Japan's Meiji-era facilities being delisted as the World Heritage Sites. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.